everything. Hey guys, here's our first look at Allo, that messaging app from Google. You can download it now. We have the APK link for you if you need it. So right in front of you, when you open up Allo, you have, of course, your recent messages that you've sent out right there. You also have the Google Assistant, which you can talk to and uh, you can search for messages. So if you have like a bunch of old messages, you can search for it or you can start up a brand new conversation right there. Um, you can also see start a group incognito and you can also see contacts now it uses your telephone contacts, which is why it's blurred out. Uh, when we move to the side, you can see the settings menu, very basic, uh, showcases your telephone number, some other information. So Google Assistant here um, does a lot in Allo. It's going to play a very big role, helping you translate, uh, uh, give you information as you're texting in terms of sports news, uh, all those kind of things all together. Uh, and uh, that mixes in quite a lot here with Allo. So here's a conversation I, I did with my buddy um, uh, Femi and a couple of things here you can type and increase the size of your text which is very basic and easy uh, I can do that before you send and I'm going to have a free-flowing conversation here with him uh, he's using Allo also and you're going to see how we uh, we use quick responses as well as also uh, using Google Assistant for our conversation here so like again you can see we're just typing away uh, talking to each other here I'm waiting for him to respond but you can also go ahead and add in you know images you can you can add your location, uh, you can add emojis of different kind, you know, those very big ones if you want to. Um, and as we as we go through this conversation process, you're going to see how everything flows. So uh, I'm going to ask him here, uh, why don't we do lunch and uh, see his response. And also, uh, we'll, I'm going to use Google Assistant to find us a place to actually grab lunch. And uh, I'm just waiting for him to chime in. And he says, I could you see quick response here because Okay, I say what time? And uh, those are the kind of things that Allo will be able to do for you, especially also with Google Assistant tied into it wherever you want. So I can actually respond when or uh, I'm going to type best uh, places for lunch in Brooklyn. Um, and let's see how, how, see what we get. So I type that in, uh, Google assistant jumps in and I click on that and that helps me start looking for places. Uh, so let's find places, just a restaurant so I can search through. He's also seen this at the same time. Um, and, um, he's already picked a location it says Chinese, Mexican or Thai. Um, so this is something that it happens uh, both ways for both of us. And he selected a restaurant there, or at least a couple of, uh, restaurant options. So I'm going to go look through and he's picked one. So he's done all that, uh, while I'm still even looking for a, a place and I could say, okay, I like that, but you can see how Google assistant ties in to make your conversation a little bit more free flowing, flowing so you can actually go through. So you see the whole structure. It's actually, it's actually pretty nice. I do like the way uh, it works um, and um, it, it flows very well. You kind of have to ask it questions uh, per se. Uh, sometimes it, certain things may not pop up, um, but again, um, it's really a nice flow. Now, the one thing to know with Allo is that again, it's tied to your phone number. Uh, so for you to actually respond this way, you need to use the application and of course, uh, tie things to your telephone number. So I'm going to continue the conversation and move on to something else. I say, okay, we need to start planning for CES. Um, and, um, I was trying to bring up a prompt here, but I, I, I have to also, uh, do this in the question format. So flights to Las Vegas. So I'm saying that as flights to Las Vegas, it doesn't really find me anything because he think, uh, the Google assistant thinks I'm actually just talking to, of course, Femi, but if I want to look for flights while we actually come to conversation, I can say cheap, cheapest flights to Las Vegas. And this will bring up a prompt for us to actually search for flights in Las Vegas. So once I bring that up, it says cheapest flights, and I'm going to click on that. And uh, Femi can also see that and you see, it shows me a bunch of flights that I can select and look through. Uh, so okay, I'm looking at a flight and uh, I'm deciding which one I want to pick. And he says fly United. So he's already selected United. I say no, because I'm never flying United again. It's terrible. Uh, but you see how it actually helps that workflow in terms of what you want to do. So he says hotel in Las Vegas. I'm looking through hotels to see what hotels we have here. Um, and this allows you to do more within your messaging uh, without actually leaving the application. That's one, one of the good things that Allo does very well. So I've selected a hotel 
and um, and we can go ahead and, and use this. So when it comes to languages, Allo can help you respond back in your native language to someone else's language. So this is French, I'm responding back in English. But when it comes to larger amount of text or something a little bit more complex, uh, this is where it has an issue. So uh, this is a whole uh, sentence that uh, Femi has sent that Allo has no idea how to actually help me respond or even transcribe so I understand what he's saying. So there needs to be some improvements there as we move down the line with the application. Another thing Allo does is that it also allows you to play videos within the application. So that's a YouTube video of Lex's review of the iPhone 7. Definitely check it out. More balanced than his original video, but I'm playing it directly in the application. It's not taking me out, which is very nice. I can move through, I can speed through the, uh, the video if I want to. Right now it's just buffering, but it allows me to do that quite easily. So if you send a video link, you can watch it there. Uh, and that those are some of the really cool things that Allo does in, in making it a very user-friendly experience in terms of using the application and not, and not leaving it. Now we have to see how Allo will work with Duo in terms of say switching from text to video calls. Uh, we have, we're not seeing that capability yet in the application, but I'm sure it will be there down the line. Overall, the experience here with Allo has been very interesting and nice. Now I like to see how people may want to switch from things like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and if you know, this will also do regular text messages that's not available right now but so far it's been a good experience it's been fun Google Assistant has actually shown a lot of promise now guys if you have any questions or any comments or you want to download Allo use the, uh, the link down below also uh, let us know your thoughts if you're using it right now guys also don't forget to check out our brand new entertainment channel on board where we all have all our entertainment videos right there for you so this is Thunder E saying thank you very much subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment Clouding up my view